you picking your nose and eating your boogers? This, this no. Is, this is how fast you can eat it. Not good. Ever since I stepped foot in the Steele household, I've felt exhausted. Sword swallowing? Oh my gosh, am I in a circus family? Like, how do you do that to your body? It's insane. And the house itself um, leaves me almost in panic mode um, during my walkthrough. There's stuff everywhere. Oh, I'm stepping over everything. Break my neck. <laughs> There's some things that need to be improved upon. There's some things that need to be changed. I did not expect to be in a sideshow presentation in front of a live audience at the drop of a hat. <laughs> We have a show tomorrow, but being that you are now my Maybell, you're about to run away with the circus. We're throwing her into the wolves right now. She is having to go from something that we spent years and years and years of coming up with, and we're going to put her in front of the crowd and make her do this. I think I'm excited uh, and a little scared for a new person to meet my boys, uh, my crazy family. <laughs> They are a handful, uh, they're wonderful. They're all over the place. I think it's gonna terrify her. What is it, buddy? Can I have nuggets, please? Hold on. I want nuggets. The ones that say that boys are easier than girls, I'm definitely gonna disagree with you. Maybe when they're older they are, but to have four boys under the age of 12, wow. Chris needs to slow down. He puts a lot of pressure on Maybelle by never stopping. He's up all night long to get ready for this sideshow act. I was up until after 3 o'clock in the morning getting things ready for the show. Please put your hands together for the bearded lady! <laughs> Me walking on glass impressed everyone since I wasn't Maybelle. It was a lot of fun. Jessica knocked it out of the park. She had a beautiful voice, and the crowd loved her, and she did really, really, really good. It's time for some rule changes. <laughs> With a little help from all of us together, we can really turn this messy house into a peaceful home. Like it! So my first rule was to work together. That means me too. I'm jumping in and I'm rolling up my sleeves and I'm gonna help out with this, getting the place organized. I've got some bins over here, guys. My computer! My computer. Yay! Is this even the same room? Look how much floor you can see. I'm really getting attached to these kids and these boys and you know, I've kind of forgotten what um, that's like. You know, having little kids and um, being around them. I don't know, it's just kind of tugging at my heartstrings. Clearly, you need to slow down. So from this moment on, we're not gonna work on the show. We're going to relax, okay? We're really focusing on trying to slow him down a little bit, which is gonna be a challenge. He says specifically that doing nothing gives him anxiety, and when he's doing nothing and not feeling productive, he gets frustrated. You bring your hands into heart center. Namaste. Thinking about my actions, my hard work, my drive, and so forth, even though I think I'm doing it to benefit my family, at times I'm putting them through a lot of stress, so I need to stop, pause for a moment, make sure that I enjoy time and realize why I work so hard, and uh, take a moment and just uh, relax. That whole saying, you know, don't judge someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. Don't judge someone until you spend a few days in their house, I would have to say. Because it's a lot more than just walking in someone's shoes. It's really and truly experiencing their whole life. I would miss you. I will miss you too. Aww.